Supraventricular tachycardia, or SVT, refers to a rhythm abnormality that orig originates from above the level of the ventricles. And there are two main types uh, that are usually referred to as an SVT, one of which is atrioventricular nodal reentry tachycardia. So it's characterized by the formation of a reentry circuit within the AV node. And here's what it looks like. So if we slow it down, we can really see what's going on in AVNRT. So to begin with, the impulse will begin at the SA node, go across the atria, and end up at the AV node. Then at the AV node, it will form a re-entry circuit, which will then discharge through to the ventricles, giving rise to a QRS complex. This usually happens on a rapid and regular basis, giving rise to a regular, narrow complex tachycardia with no visible P waves. The other form of SVT is an atrioventricular reentry tachycardia, also referred to as AVRT, and it happens in the context of an accessory pathway. The heart has a fibrous band in between the atria and the ventricles, which prevents the depolarization from leaking from the atria into the ventricles and ensures that the impulse has to travel via the AV node. In patients with an accessory pathway, the depolarization will go across the atria, stop at the AV node, then move down the bundle of his and Purkinje fibers before jumping back into the atria via the accessory pathway. This forms a large circuit that continues to cycle between the atria and the ventricles using the accessory pathway. So this is what it looks like. And if we slow it down, we can see how the accessory pathway allows the impulse to travel back into the atria and then start the cycle all over again. One important point to bear in mind is that the accessory pathway allows depolarization to move in both directions. When the heart rate is controlled, some depolarization will leak into the ventricles from the atria, giving a shortened PR interval and a slurred upstroke of the QRS complex, also known as a delta wave. So this is a 12 lead ECG of a patient with an SVT and you can see that it shows a regular nar narrow complex tachycardia with no clear P waves. And at this stage, you wouldn't necessarily be able to tell which type of SVT it is. It's only after the patient has been cardioverted and they've returned to sinus rhythm that you may be able to spot a delta wave, which would be suggestive of the presence of an accessory pathway.